When you talk about faith, you have to really define what that means biblically because there's a lot of people, if you ask them, are you a person of faith? They will say, oh yes, I'm a person of faith. I'm not an atheist. I believe in a God somewhere out there. I don't really buy into the Bible stuff, I, but I believe there is a God. I, I do believe that. I don't think that it matters how you get to him. A lot of times people, it has no definition. It has no manifestation. And th so that's an abstract faith. And then there's one that's a little bit closer to where it needs to be. And that's like a, um, a structured faith. By that, I mean a ceremonial faith. They believe because they were raised in church. So they believe in the ceremonies of the church. But it's not, it's not something really that they have, that they nurture, that they feed in their own life. It's what mama and them raised them in. It's, and that's how I was raised. And I believe in that stuff. Ceremonial faith. And then there's transferable faith. That's what we get to in, in, in my text. Because he says... Timothy, the faith that I see in you that is, that is sincere, that is very real, it's in you. He said, I, I saw it first in your grandmother Lois and in your mother Eunice, and I'm persuaded it's in you. Somewhere your grandmother got it and she transferred it because it was personal, because the only kind of faith that is transferable is personal. You, you can't have a distant relationship with God and transfer it to your children. You cannot have lukewarm relationship with Jesus and pass red hot fire passion for Jesus to your children. When you get along with Jesus and you've been with him, it gets transferred. This really weighed on me as a pastor and a preacher. I can only transfer to you what I am, what I have in a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. If you don't have what I'm preaching right now, you don't have anything in God because faith is the essential ingredient. You can't have this without faith. God wants to give us transferable faith to our sons and our daughters and our families and our loved ones that need a miracle.